Alright okay, guys, I'm going to show you something kind of cool here. I'm going to show you how to make a spark plug spark with pretty much any ignition coil off of a car. Uh, I'm working on this kerosene heater and I'm diagnosing the spark plug. This is the uh, spark plug here. And uh, yeah, the spark plug's fine. Uh, it just needs a, a new coil pack. So I have to order a coil pack for it. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a spark plug spark here. It's some pretty simple. I mean, <clears throat> for any other projects that you're using or doing or whatever. Potato guns, whatever. <laughs> so pretend, uh, well, I mean, this is the same thing, really. I mean, spark plug can be in there. And then this is the ground that would have to be attached to here. You know, same thing. So anyway, I have my coil grounded here. That, that gave me a little bit better spark um, to the ground on the battery. And these are just positive and negative. It doesn't matter which is which, uh, I don't think, because it works either way. Um, I think this one here is positive. Yeah. This one on the right is positive. This one here is negative and it's being attached to the negative terminal. Uh, just like if it was attached to the... Yeah. So, this is battery positive. That's battery negative going into the coil and battery positive. Or, yeah, that's battery positive going into the coil. And that's negative. And this is negative going from the battery here. And pretty much, I'm just going to tap this. You can see it sparking. I turn the light off. So, yeah. You just do it kind of quick. But you're supposed to have some points and a capacitor to do this. Uh, you could do it with a regular switch, but you'll eventually wear out your switch because it will arc. See what I mean? So you have to have a points and condenser. The condenser is pretty much the, the capacitor, I do believe. I'm not sure on that, but, but yeah. I think if you put a capacitor in line, I forget if you, I don't, I forget if you put it on the positive or the negative lead, but if you put a, a decent sized capacitor on there, I think it eliminates arcing and whatnot so you can use your regular you know regular switch or something to add in a capacitor but yeah i mean i'll tell you heck you can even test coils like this too off cars and whatnot before you put them in but you know kind of simple so that was a nice blue arc so this uh this spark plug thing here is good but um, I knew it was because, I mean, these things here just shoot up into here. I mean, I don't think there's anything in between. So I just uh, was kind of curious on how to, if I can get this to work or not. And <laughs> I did.